Well, I'm sure some of you were hoping I was going to suffer through Fifty Shades of Grey this past weekend so I could offer my thoughts on that, but you know what? My birthday is this week, and I should not be celebrating my birthday by suffering through a shitty movie. No, I need a break now and then, so I'll get to Fifty Shades of Grey somewhere down the line, I'm sure. But for now, I'm going to talk about a movie that's actually good. Kingsman The Secret Service. This was... So much fun, I really, really like this movie. The story takes place primarily in the UK, where young Gary Unwin, known to his friends as Eggsy, for some reason, is recruited into a secret international spy organization known as the Kingsmen, an organization his father was a part of before his untimely death. And their responsibility is basically to save the world using the biggest and craziest of weapons and gadgets while wearing the finest of suits because what's the point of saving the world if you can't look good doing it? And a member of this organization, known as Harry Hart, also known by the codename Galahad, takes young Eggsy under his wing and tries to turn him from a young delinquent into a gentleman. Kind of like My Fair Lady, but with a lot more blood and action and jumping out of planes and stuff. And so Eggsy and several other recruits are put through a rigorous and competitive and extremely dangerous and possibly lethal training program, if you're not careful. And while all this is going on, a rich tech mogul is trying to use his technological empire to take over the world in a true Bond villain fashion. And that's basically what this movie is. It is a love letter to James Bond and really spy movies in general. And it's also a very silly movie. But unlike the movie I saw last week, Jupiter Ascending, it is silly for the right reasons. They're actually trying to be silly. It's a... Uh, I don't really want to call it a spoof. That's not quite the right word for it. It's more of a light-hearted homage. Kind of like what Shaun of the Dead was to zombie films. In fact, if Wright and Peg were going to make a spy movie, it would probably look something like Kingsman. There are some very, very funny lines in this movie and a lot of very clever writing throughout. A very strong cast, uh, just to run through some of these names, Colin Firth, who plays Galahad, Mark Strong, Jack Davenport, uh, Michael Caine, pretty strong British cast there, and a couple of familiar American faces as well in Samuel L. Jackson and Mark Hamill. And we have a couple of young newcomers as well in Taron Edgerton, who plays Eggsy, who I thought did a pretty good job, and uh, Sophie Cookson, who plays another one of the trainees named Roxy. I thought she did a fantastic job as well. And there are a lot of fun and intense action scenes throughout this movie, which are very well shot for the most part, and featured some pretty graphic violence as well. This was directed by the same guy who did Kick-Ass, and also the comic that this is based on was written by the same guy who wrote Kick-Ass, so... Subtlety is not really their strong suit, it would seem, but uh, for this movie, that works pretty well. Colin Firth in particular looked like a total badass in this movie, which is something that I never thought I would say. Badass is certainly not the first adjective that comes to mind when I'm thinking of Colin Firth, which is not a knock on him, it's just that's not the types of roles he usually plays, but... In this movie, they really made it work, which I think is a testament to, A, to his acting, because he is an amazing actor, and also to Vaughn's directing. The action is fast and furious throughout, and there may be a couple of moments here and there where it gets a little too fast and kind of gets hard to follow what's going on, but those moments are pretty brief. And there's a little bit of shaky cam here and there, but not to the point where it gets irritating. It's just the right amount to add intensity while still being able to see what the hell is going on and who's punching who. The villain in this movie is played by Samuel L. Jackson, and it is a very strange part for him to play. The guy is a complete nerd who shies away from violence. Yes, Samuel L. Jackson is playing a guy who shies away from violence. He doesn't like to see it, doesn't like to look at it. Even at the inclination that he might glimpse someone bleeding, he's like, Oh God, no, tell me when it's over. Samuel L. Jackson. And he also talks with a bit of a lift, which is very weird. <laughs> Never would have expected this from Samuel L. Jackson, which, you know, I'm sure that's the joke. His sidekick is an equally interesting character. She has no legs below the knees and instead has these prosthetic implants, which also double as weapons. She basically, like, kicks people's heads off, quite literally, with these prosthetic legs, and it's... So, over again, this Mark Miller and Matthew Vaughn, they are not known for their subtlety, <laughs> and that's on display here. This movie also had some very interesting soundtrack choices, uh, especially during the action scenes. Uh, there's one moment in this movie that has probably 
the most awesome use of pomp and circumstance I have ever seen. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Wasn't that amazing? That was, oh, so much fun in this movie. I enjoyed it very much. If you like action movies, if you like spy movies, if you like good sense of humor, this is definitely a movie you should check out. It's a lot of fun. And that's about all I have to say about Kingsman The Secret Service. So until next time, manners maketh man. What about him? What makes him so special? Put it back.